I need to say that former President Trump has just started uh, making public remarks, just as he did on the evening of his first arraignment on criminal charges. That was April, when he was booked on 34 felony counts brought by the state of New York. Now, tonight, after his arraignment on federal felony charges, he's speaking again, this time to an audience of his supporters that's gathered for a, a campaign fundraiser tonight at his, his golf club and summer home in New Jersey. Um, we knew heading into this that he was planning to make these remarks. We are prepared for his pre-fundraiser remarks tonight to again be essentially a Trump campaign speech. Because of that, we do not intend to carry these remarks live. Um, as we have said before in these circumstances, there is a cost to us as a news organization to knowingly broadcast untrue things. We are here to bring you the news. It hurts our ability to do that if we live broadcast what we fully expect in advance to be a litany of lies and false accusations, no matter who says them. As new COVID cases, hospitalizations and deaths all start to rise again for the fourth time in this country. Dr. Walensky is a scientist. She is not prone to hyperbole. She sticks to the facts and the data. When she talks about having a sense of impending doom, that seems like something we ought to listen to. Our data from the CDC today suggests, um, you know, that, that vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick, um, and, and that it's not just in the clinical trials, but it's also in real-world data. Um, we can end this thing. It means that instead of the vaccine being able, excuse me, it means for instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person to person, spreading and spreading, sickening some of them, but not all of them. And the ones that it doesn't sicken don't know they have it. And then they give it to even more people because they didn't recognize they were, right? Instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person, potentially mutating and becoming more virulent and drug resistant along the way. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. It cannot use a vaccinated person as a host to go get more people. If you're unvaccinated, you have a much higher chance of getting this newly transmissible variant we had never seen before, before a couple of weeks ago. And it's the unvaccinated people who it's going to make sick. And we really just cannot afford for you to have to go to the hospital right now. I mean, looking all around the country, depending on where you live, there is a very good chance there's no room for you in the hospital right now if you need to go. And if you can somehow get a bed because you got COVID and you got sick from it because you weren't vaccinated, if you are able to get yourself into a bed, you're going to be filling a bed that somebody else really needs. There is a cost to us as a news organization to knowingly broadcast untrue things. What a load of shit.